Welcome back to Meadow Grove for our co-op Let's Play, episode 4, with Silly G and me, Mr. Silly P. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Meadow Grove for episode 4, aren't we? We are yes. in episode 4, yes we are. Now, there's a couple of things I want to show you that's been done off screen. And when I say off screen, it was supposed to be done on screen. Um, however... Mr. Silly P, in his usual inimitable style and charm, um, made another one of his gaffes. Um, bales. These are the ones we did off this field. These ones were done by Silly E.G. over on her field, off screen, and she brought them over in what should have been the last episode. Um, yes, I set my record setting on PlayStation 4 for 10 minutes. I thought I had it set for an hour. So we recorded, as we've done numerous times before, for an hour. We did silaging, like we said we were going to, on the two cornfields that I bought, and I hit record. Or I hit the end button, whichever way you want to look at it, and it only recorded 10 minutes, not an hour. So, we've got the forage harvester sitting here, because I said we'll keep hold of it, just in case. That said, there's not another cornfield on the map to use. And we've got a bunker silo with a load of compacted silage in it, which unfortunately you guys didn't get to see us doing. So I just thought I'd show you it's there. It was another one of my usual. I didn't want to start with funny story because I've done that so many times before. Uh, right, that's still there. That's there. Silly G's over on field three because my other, um, what's it called? Yard, I suppose, isn't it? Well, actually, I'm going to close that gate, I think. Yeah, my other yard. You've been very quiet. Are you right? Yeah, I'm just letting you explain everything. All right. Yeah, my other yard, just down the lane over here, uh, is next to field... What field is it? Field 2? Yeah. Yeah, field 2, that we harvested and bailed and did all the stuff in the other episode. I said the field next to it, field 3, looks like it might not be a bad purchase, so I purchased it. And in the last episode doing what we were doing i also started to uh to harvest it actually i'll open these gates because we can get to this field from here as well as over by my yard i like all these little tracks and stuff around running around the side now we are leaving the straw swath on the ground we're not sure what we're going to do at the moment about baling it because we've still got straw bales over at the uh store haven't we yeah that we need to move yes um, yeah, problems we had hooking up were down to bales being on an auto load bale trailer. Because apparently the modded ones don't like multiplayer very much. They kind of play up a bit. So anyway, so I own this field now. Um, we have, I'll just check on the map. Um, we'll go across from fruit types to growth. And you shall see that field 76 just there, which I bought that had corn in it, we have harvested. And field 26 over there, which also had corn in it, we have also harvested. Field 2, we did in the last episode, and field 3, we are doing now. Uh, the was it in, You said it was oats, isn't it, we've got in this one? Yeah. So we've got oats. Uh, what are oats going for at the moment? Oh, 1,030 at Meadow Grove Stores. That's actually not too bad. Mm -hmm. So if we sell them, we might get a little bit of money back, which I think is probably what we need to do, don't we? Because after yeah. buying the fields and various leasing, that forage harvester cost a fortune. It's about 26 grand or something all in, maybe. Uh, so actually, yeah, while I'm saying that, let's have a look at this. Um, so we haven't got another corn field, have we? Let's have a look. Fruit types. There's not another one with corn. I have a That's annoying, field growing at the moment, so we'll be able to get more money from that. Yeah, because we, well. we both decided it was... Yeah, we're prepping for our animals, uh, but realised we're not actually producing any income at the moment, so we needed to do something that's going to get us some money. Uh, so yeah, field three. So what we need to do then is prep field two, three, 76, 26, field I have 32. Field 73 as well. That needs ploughing, then stuff can be put in it. Yeah, so if we do all those kind of jobs, uh, soil composition and all these, how are we looking? Oh yeah, a lot of ploughing required. Yeah. Are you using I a culti plough or what are you using? Just a normal uh, plough? I can't remember. 
I can't remember what we brought. Is that uh, over at your farm? Yeah, it's not at the sheep one, it's at the other one. Sheep and chicken, so... Yeah. Okay, uh, how are you looking, fill yeah. level, on your harvester? 32%. Oh, is that all? Okay, what have we got in this? 11,000... 11,000 litres. Okay, we're not going to make a huge amount of money off this field. But then there wasn't much done to them. So, shall I go over then and grab the, uh, the plough? Uh, yeah. Right, what I'll do... Is Are if you going to do that, fields two? Uh, I can plan? do, I suppose, right next to us. Yeah, we'll, we'll plough that one. Uh, although I've left a header trailer in the field, haven't I? Uh, yes. did you say you've got fertiliser left? Did I return that or did I keep it? Did you buy it? Because I'm going to switch my fertilizer. Uh, no. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, I haven't told you. You probably haven't been on since it. The mods that came out yesterday. Okay. Uh, oh, we haven't got it installed, have we? Ah. No. Uh, anyway, yeah, maybe we need to do that off screen as well. Yeah, we have the mods that. Things we need to add in. Yeah, there was the um, by Agrotechnic Nordifel. There's the new Pioneer pallets. And there's a fertilizer one, and it's 2,500 for 2,400 litres of fertilizer, which puts it one of the best prices for oh, buying okay. fertilizer. So I'll say, yeah, we probably could do with doing that. Oh, so you're you're going to redo your fertilizing then? What? You, how are you going to do it? Uh, well, I leased one because the one I have has like a really low capacity. We do like one strip, and it's already like empty. Oh, okay. Uh, so, and the one I want to get has like 9,000 litres or something, so you can get multiple fields done. Oh, you used, and used has, the braid out, didn't you? Well. So the K105? Right, okay. So, so I we can buy it, if you want me to. One of us, it's down to you. We need to work out what we're going to do as our kind of, our cooperative fertilising options. Because I'm just because trying to think, what did have I have? I oh, no, you didn't, you didn't. Did I not get it in waiting. the end? We installed mods, so you can look if you want. Seed thing. Um, uh, yeah, I haven't got one, have I? Yeah, because you're waiting. So we did install some. So if you want to look at some as well, because I think you were going to go for like liquid fertilizer or something, and I was oh, going to go for solid fertilizer and lime. I just got I run know. over. Oh. So I was listening to you and went across the road and just got hit by a car. Whoops. But also that the means... straw bales are down there as well. So. Okay. Um, if I hop the wall here, just trying to get to your farm. Um, is this your farm? Yes, this is the other one, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry if I grab the John Deere and the plough. Yeah, go ahead. Is the, is the plough at your yard or is it the chicken farm? No, the yard. I, the yard is for all like crops, and then the chicken and sheep farm is like where the mowers and baler is. Well, you have got the cultivated ploughs here, though. At your yard. Oh, what? so you're talking about the, the axis then? The coon axis is too small, did you say? Yeah, it just isn't That's good. Weird. It shouldn't be. You should be able to get yeah. a fairly decent bit out of that. I love so... that you parked the tractor on it out in front of the uh, farmhouse. Oh, well, yeah, because the, it's quite big that the shed's like opposite it. Like, it's really awkward to get it in and out. So... Yeah. Cool, right. I'm in the JD then and I'll grab the. Uh, to plough. Oh, sorry. I've never heard something like that before. I just... I don't know. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> good on, the eight. Get in. Right. Um, I need to avoid main roads if I can, because this is a little bit wider than tractor. I think about put the beacons on. Is it a culti plough or just a plough? It is a culti plough. Oh, okay, that's good then. It's the four metre one. Doo -doo -doo. Um, yeah, I made sure as well I fertilised my grass fields and field 69, so next time, we, well, when field 69 is done, we'll get good of that. Okay, sounds good. And grass fields as well, that's fully fertilised now, so. 
the awesome. grass fields are still saying needs ploughing, so... Oh, the grass fields don't touch them. Don't worry about it. When yeah, it says when it says needs ploughing and needs lime, don't even bother. There's no point. Two lots of fertiliser and you'll get you'll be fine for that. I've just done one lot, so yeah, but it's better than nothing. So. Oh, hang on, too early. So I was just indicating. I thought the turning was sooner. But it's not. Okay, so build. Oh, that's so a lot of traffic. It's about to be complete. So I don't know what to do then, so we just plough in that, that straw, do you think we need it? I suppose what we could do is collect it loose and we could sell it. Is there, yeah. There's a barn sale point, we might as well, we can get every penny we can, can't we? Yes, we, we, we need the money. Yeah, we might as well. Time. You'll have zero pounds left if you buy cows, so... <laughs> yeah, even if we, even if we don't um, get a lot for it, it's still going to be better than nothing, hasn't it? So, I'll empty... This. If I if I go sell this, will this give the money to you because it's your film? Potentially, but then I can give you some, can't I? We can split it. You know, I'm just checking because I don't want it to give it to me. Well, if it gives it to you, then you just you give some to me. It doesn't doesn't matter. Okay. However oh, you want to do it, this is actually going to take quite a while with a four meter, isn't it? Should I turn the beacons off? Now? Oh, just put hazards on, beacons off, there we go. <laughs> Need to actually get up and move something because it's by my school and I can't actually see my mum. I did it. Did what? I, there was something by the money so I can actually see. Oh, okay. Where I want to go sell it. Okay, piping, that's done. Okay. Nice. Lucky I started doing this before you came on. <laughs> yeah, we we kind of started it, didn't we, in the last episode? It's so frustrating because it's the same as it always. I say it every single time, don't I? We we chatted about all sorts of stuff. We had an absolute laugh. We did all the different stuff. For, like I said, we're going to do a corn harvest. We're going to get a forage harvester, and it was brilliant. And then I honestly felt sick when I pressed the button to record. And then went into edit and realised there was only 10 minutes of footage there. I couldn't believe it. But, I do it all the time, I'm hopeless. I think I'd have learnt by now. So we need to have a note now, a little note. Every time I play with CLEG, it says, adjust record time. That's the plan. So, what you been up to then? Uh, not much really. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good chat. Where good chat. Am I uh, to is it Meadow Grow? No, Meadow Grow Stores. Is it? That was the best prize. Down and follow the road up. Awesome Turn directions. <laughs> Just follow it. Oh, there she goes. Whoosh. So either your money is going to suddenly go up or mine is. We don't know at the moment. Yeah, we don't know yet. How, how was your trip? How was my trip? I kind of talked about it a little bit. I posted. Um, a Lapinky episode today, and I kind of talked about it a little bit in there. Um, it was not what was expected, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. Flying all the way out to Erlangen. Well, actually, flying from London Heathrow to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Nuremberg, and then getting picked up and taken to Erlangen. And actually, the hotel I was staying in was literally two minutes away from Giants' offices in Erlangen. Um, but it was, uh, like I say, I mentioned it on the previous episode, on the pinky, but pulled up outside um, and a lovely lady that works for Giants called Petra, who organises all the travel and she does HR and all sorts of stuff. She's an amazing, amazing woman. Her husband 
offered to come and pick me up from the airport, which is really nice of him. And as we pulled up outside the hotel, he said, oh, um, Petra's messaging me. You better wait in the car a second because it might be something relevant to you. Um, so he got the message and rang her back and it had turned out that the servers weren't working properly and they had cancelled they cancelled the stream for Sunday. So this was Saturday afternoon and my flight back wasn't until Monday morning and there was no stream. So I was a little bit kind of wasn't quite sure what to do at that point. Um, so yeah, I bit, I went for a bit of a walk around Erlangen on my own, had a bit of a wander and took in some of the sights. And then uh, Sunday, uh, Petra and her husband and her two children picked me up and uh, Silver News, who was at there, he arrived later on Saturday and took us out for the day into the countryside and uh, we went to a lovely little cafe called Cafe Müller because it used to be a mill down a little valley and we got to the countryside and we went for a bit of a walk and oh, it was just... Sorry. Just, yeah. So what did we make? 16? When yeah. you say you transferred me 8,000 we could, we could have made 50 but you just transferred me 8. Huh? Oh, it doesn't matter. You just split it in half. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. So because you sold it, so it was my crop off my field, but you took it in my trailer, and because you sold it, you got the money. Yes. It'd be interesting, I wonder then, if I took the trailer from my field, whether because I'm selling it, I would get it. It seems a bit odd, I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah. Or whether it's just set up that because I'm, well, I'm technically on your server, your map, whether it would always defer to you anyway. With uh, picking up the straw swaths, can I use that blower thing I have? Will that you work? can use the milling machine and a trailer. That will work absolutely perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think what I might do then is if I come into field two, uh, into field three with you, while you're doing that, I can be um, coulter ploughing the bits you've already collected. Otherwise, we're not going to be in the same field at any point and no one gets okay. to see you. So the only reason people watch is to see you and listen to you. I don't care about them. Hey. I'm kidding, of course I am. <laughs> so cruise control back on. This is going to take some time. We need to work out. Where did you put the machine? Where did I put it? Okay. Quite so I don't know how much money we'll make by selling the straw. And we might get to a point at some point later on say, oh, we should probably should have kept hold of it. But if we do another field, one of these fields, we put wheat or barley in. Once that's ready to harvest, we'll get wheat and straw again. So it's it's not a, you know, it's not the be-all yeah. and end-all. And if, if push came to shove and we really had to, we could buy a bale. It's, you know, it's not impossible to do. I think so. So do we need to transport the ones from the store then to a location? Uh, yeah, a location something. Where are you at the moment then? I'm going to collect the machine thing. I'm stuck, so let's have it. You're stuck? Where? Uh, I need to turn around, so I was going through a gate. You seem very quiet and moving again. I don't understand. Sometimes I come on and it's fine. Sometimes I come on and I can barely hear you, but on the recording it sounds fine. So I don't know why. It's a bit peculiar. You need a, you need a deeper, bassier voice. Sorry. No. You're a girl. Of course you're not going to have a, as deep and bassier voice, are you? This John Deere pulls us, no problem at all. What horsepower is this one? Do you remember what one you got? Did you get it fully tuned or is it... So. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever bought a tractor not fully tuned. Well, we've got 6250, so that's going to be... Uh, no idea. Up there in the horsepowers. I can't think off the top of my head what that would be. It's probably up around 200, 300 horsepower, isn't it? Yeah. 
I'll check when we get to the... Yeah. Plowing on regardless. Well, actually, culture plowing on regardless. But... Really, every time I do ploughing or culture ploughing, I always remember when I did the tractor driving experience, Rob, the guy that was the farmer, the guy that was showing me and teaching me in his John Deere, when we did the ploughing bit, which my camera didn't record, seems to be the, the story of my life, doesn't it? Um, he said, always make sure you're moving forward before you drop the plough down, because if you drop it into the ground, then try and move forward, the tractor's got to try and move that all through the ground. If you're moving already and then lower it, it kind of eases itself in and it, it works better. So, you know, I suppose it's all down to friction, isn't it, really? Whoa! Crazy! She's a crazy lady. I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to apologise for your craziness. That's what makes you lovable. Wait, that wasn't even broken. What? What you probably need to do is open the pipe. Oh, there we go. That would probably help. That and might then help. You need to it still say unfold. Wait, well, you need to drop it down now. Because oh, it's that up just in the air. Did it? Oh, did it have some yes. still in it? Well, well, that's going to be a problem. Right, you'd have to back up somewhere and dump that grass by the side of the field because you won't get any straw in there now. It's like a mad scorpion backing across the field. <laughs> I'm low key. Honestly, I'm not sure in the amount of episodes we've done, what was episode four, we need to get a lot more done. We need to be doing at least one every day and we keep having gaps because I keep having to go off to do FSL and stuff like that and um, we're not going to make any headway at this point. We need to drop it down. Drop it down. L1 in circle. Yeah. And then press it again. Oh no, you open the door. So you drop it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I was Sorry. Stop apologising. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very English. Sorry. Right, okay. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to follow her as quickly as she can do that job because uh, that thing will go at a, quite a pace. It's like money for old straw, isn't it? That's better. Can't really see. When you go in the shade of the trees, you can't see anything. I love the fact that all these hills, all of this map, is hilly and undulating. It's quite cool doing this on a bit of a slope, you know. Yes, Dad. I oh, know, that's what I thought. Of course, sorry. <laughs> uh. Did you just go up to the middle and across the middle of the field? Ah. Yeah, sorry. Mm. Stop apologising. Oh, so <laughs> hard. Just, I just asked you a question. It doesn't matter if you did or you didn't. You're not in trouble. I just wondered. Just wonder where I need to go. That's all. Oh yeah. Got you. Whoa, nutter. I suppose it is quarter to four, isn't it? I've kind of lost track of uh, in-game time. It's actually quarter to four here as well. How weird's that? Weird. How bizarre. I 
So, next trip away. When's the next one? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, it's Gamescon. Gamescon in Cologne. And that's in uh, two weeks. Just under two weeks. Gamescon runs for an actual, uh, pretty much a whole week. The Tuesday through to the Sunday, I think. Uh, I think I'll be going for the probably the Saturday, Sunday, I guess, for the stream on the Sunday. So whilst Giants will be there for the week, I think I'll only be going for the end bit of it. But I think the stand or the stage is between Activision and Ubisoft, I think they said. That's going to be an interesting yeah. one. Yeah. I'm curious to see what you're going to get for this. Do you know where the barn is? The sale point is for the straw. Ah, uh, should drop that down earlier. Well, 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 well. So, what's the next trip you're coming with me on? When, when are you going to do another trip with me? Your mum keeps saying she wants to come to Paris, but I, you know. I reckon we should do another one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a laugh. It was brilliant. It was. Although I don't think you would have liked the flight home. This last one. Yeah, no. It was like bumpy. Flying. Yeah, turbulence was a bit mad. You're just like me, and I love that. Is that we what? always get your your inner thoughts out loud, which is brilliant. It's exactly what I do. You're the right place. Here I am. Okay. Let's... Oh, oh there's cars. I'm stuck now. How much was this Celtic cloud? This is a four metre one, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's have a look in here. No, not that menu, this menu. Uh, so under subsoilers, we've got. That's the one we've got, isn't it? Yeah. Or well, you have. That's the four metre. Oh, it is, because you haven't got all the mods, have you? I haven't got everything no, installed. I'm just looking to see. What was I thinking of? The Neo Disc. Oh, mind you, isn't that new one? Oh no, you don't. That requires. Ah, oh, the case I H or is that a cultivator? Disc Harrow. Yeah, sorry, ignore me. I'm just thinking. There's a bigger one that we can use, but there's not actually. Not the moment. Really. I should carry on with the four meter. Still stuck, or you're right? No, I'm I'm okay now. Just trying to. You don't see them. I'm it dreading. I'm dreading you learning to drive. It terrifies me. Why? Because you've got a very oh, heavy accelerator this, foot. This is a very and you seem oblivious to everything that's around you. Bad cell point. Are oh, you still at the cell point? Very small. Oh, okay. Whereabouts is it? Bottom right. Bottom right. Oh, over towards the store? Right. Down that little side turning before the store? No, that's left. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, let me. I'm confused, Ed. Bottom right. Oh, okay, in there. 
Oh yeah, down the back lanes, past the little church, and there's a there's a yard over there as well, isn't there? Oh cool, hang on then. We're gonna get lots of this. No, I know. I thought I'd come over and have a look. Why not? Yay, we're here. Bit of an equestrian centre. I remember this from the first look. There's a church along the road there. I see it mean about. No, how much? Two thousand. Yeah, but. Like I say, if you do that for the whole field and we end up coming out of it with another 10 grand, it's 10 grand, isn't it? Yeah. And if somebody said to you, here Emma, here's a cheque for 10 grand, you wouldn't go, no, oh, it's only 10 grand. Yeah, but all this effort for 2 grand at a time. Do you mean all that effort? Please do You've driven around in a tractor, me. having fun, collecting straw, and you just got Not two... Not going to get stuck to every little... You got two thousand pounds for that. Where are you? Whoa. See, this what I mean. What? How do I get out now? <laughs> well, yeah, here's an idea. Where does this go? Does this go anywhere? Oh no, just goes around to the riding bit. That's no good. Gentle, 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 gentle. If you accelerate slowly, gentle acceleration and small movements on the old steering. Nice and gentle. There you go. Not, um... And now what? Right. <laughs> Do you want me to help you come out? Yes. Look. Are you showing me how it's done? Well, actually, what you could do, if you just open that gate there, into that field, what? to your left. Oh, right here. Didn't see that. Yeah, that gate there. I'm going to hit that fence post. There you go. Alright. Thank you. No worries. See you back there in a minute. Okay. My pleasure. Let's off road. <laughs> we need a Land Rover. We need a Land Rover mod. I so desperately want to drive a Land Rover. In, in the game, that is. I've driven plenty in real life, but. Whoa. You right? Yeah. Cool. Right. So, that's that sorted. But it's up to you, unless you want to take all the loose stuff and just put it into one of the barns up at my... up at my yard, and then we can use it as bedding and whatever we need to, rather than selling it. So it really doesn't matter what we do with it. Yeah, I'm just thinking the bales might it. cause us problems. Sorry? But won't lots of loose stuff, like... Uh, potentially. I mean, either that, or if you're not that bothered about the money, and you'd rather we got it from a crop, I can just cultivate it in. I mean, to be fair, if we could pick up another cheap cultivator, we could both just cultivate, couldn't we? Yeah. Might be easy, mightn't it? So this one's yours, isn't it? So if I jump out of your John Deere, if you come back over with the trailer, pick up the, um, what do you call it? Uh, milling machine, and move out of the way, I'll grab the Valtra and I'll grab another coulter plough, and we'll just both coulter plough. Okay. Because if, if we're not going to make that much money from the straw, it seems it seems daft. What are you doing? I just came around Why the corner to see you. Me? I came around the corner to see you destroying my New Holland. No. That's why. You're like, I'm still watching you. You're like a mad bull in a china shop. Not even just a normal bull. A crazed, rabid, ferocious bull. What? That is just 
really it's just nice. exactly what you're doing. Right, I'm going to go and grab the voucher oh. and grab a... What? <laughs> what did you do this time? Oh, my. No, stop there. Stop there. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Because that's the thumbnail. Right there. You've just given me the thumbnail. Thank you so much for that. You are such a buffoon. Right, stop there. This is what just what I like, mean. Just what it's because you don't ever stop to think or do anything properly. I did. I was breaking. Hang on, I need to... I can't actually quite see your face because the, uh, the exhaust pipe's there. Hang on then. Right. What do we do now then? Can't even bear to look. Reverse, 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 reverse. What I should be doing now? I can't watch. I really can't watch. Oh. I'm gonna go and get my voucher. I'm, I'm just having a little sob on the way. Oh. You back up, right? No. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I just <laughs> It's not doing anything. No, that's because it's on its side. It's having a rest now. A small nap in the middle of the day well not the middle of the day, but you know what I mean. Oh I'm still on Euros, aren't I, from when I was on the other map. Well, we can use Euros in the UK. Right, I need a culti plow. Uh so I use the same one or should I get the coon? Oh no, actually the Agrisem's cheaper, isn't it? Um Yeah, it's five hundred cheaper. Hundred forty horsepower, let's get one of those. Should I lease it or should I buy it? I'll buy it, why not? So the money we just made from selling the stuff I've just spent. Yeah. Not a problem. Not a problem. There appears to be a pallet in the way of my uh my new quality plow. I did it. Oh, you did it. You're not on the. You're not on your side anymore. Rolling okay. around like a turtle. A tortoise or something. Right, beacons. Seem to be doing this a lot. All right, let's go. I said that before. Deja vu all over again. Why do I keep driving the wrong side of the road? It's the washo madness has come over me. I was listening to a, um, an audio book the other day, and it was the first of the um, Sherlock Holmes stories by Arthur Conan Doyle, and it's read by Stephen Fry. And in that part of the story, they go to America, and they talk about uh, someone who came from Washoe. I was re I was listening to it like, wow, I can't believe that. I was just playing on that map. I know it's a small and minor point that really isn't relevant to most people but I just thought it was interesting it kind of cropped up yeah <laughs> thanks that I heard that little snigger I don't know what you're talking about no so I thought no. we could, I thought we could get a brilliant thumbnail of me and you next to each other where our cultic plows but no it's definitely going to be you on your side in the New Holland now Why did you close the gate? Because we need to cultivate plow up to the edge and the gates are in the way. Oh, I thought you were at the other gate, sorry. My eyesight is terrible. So again, technically, we're going to be coulter ploughing an 8 metre width so it's like having the big 8 metre coulter plough but we haven't the beauty of two player multiple oh you set it to oh you moved the thing out the way the thing what mm, okay, what thing Sorry. why are you not when you moved the John B, yeah. and I was like, oh, he's finished that strip, but you moved it to the right, so now I can see the strip. 
starting to worry about your eyesight, I'll be honest. Well, I can't see it because all this, these trees are in the way. Dark, I can't tell the difference. Loving this Veltra. It's cool. <laughs> That's <such> a twitch. <laughs> Not racing while cult are ploughing. Make sure if you try and take that turn at the end without stopping, you don't miss anything. No, you have to do that. No, you have to do that bit on the way through. What? <laughs> Cheat. Oh. Come on, where are you? What's going on? I'm just fixing your mess. <laughs> okay then. Thank you for that. So yeah, between now and the next episode then we need to sort out what we're going to do about fertilising. We need to install the Pioneer mod. So we've got the extra pallets. Because that'll be cheaper fertiliser. And um, yeah, so it'll be a load of field prep, wouldn't it? Is it worth us yeah. sticking corn in one of these or what do you reckon? Or should we just Really corn the other ones. Well, yeah, but if we want to get a bigger, a bigger silage crop, we could, mind you, that. <laughs> <laughs> you missed a bit. No, I didn't. You Don't did. Lie. There's a tiny bit. You oh, missed well. it. So when you miss a bit, it's fine. But when I miss a bit, it's not okay. <laughs> joke. Absolute joke. You're rude. I'm rude. Yeah, you just said it yourself. Look, I heard you say it out loud. Look, I'm rude, you just said. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> oh, I just had a bit of a wobble on then. That all went wrong. <laughs> oh, no. What was that? Oh, I have no idea. So you're already thinking, how are you going to take this next corner? Oh my god, I can't. It's a perfect square. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up and do this bit you missed, this tiny little bit here. Look. That bit there. Where are you going? You. What? It's just like waste now just doing that last little bit you know just oh, okay. two strips okay you're very aggressive aren't you you like that mean when you said that I like what? Hey, what? you're like you mean what mean? when you said that you know okay you know <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about <gasps> you don't know who I'm talking about what mean? I, I don't know well, it's not really a meme, it's more like a vine, but... I don't watch them, I don't know... Vine is non-existent anymore. <laughs> You've missed a bit again, look. You missed that bit. No, I, I did not. You just did that strip. No, I didn't. He's lying. <laughs> what are you laughing at now? I don't know. We've still got the other half of this field and all the field two to I do. I know. 
it's and all so the other ones. Like, you know when you finish something, like that's what I do sometimes on a big film. I do half of it, and then you forget there's the other half. So when you finish the first, you're like, I'm done. And then you look up, and then it's just like, really? Mm -hmm. You forget yeah. you've got the other half of the film to do. Well, no, because oh. if it's just you on your own, it will take like twice the amount of time. You know. So Ooh, I love the way you're applying mathematics to you. You're absolutely right. Two people takes half the time. <laughs> what are you doing? You missed a bit. I know. I'm just coming back to do it. Too late. Cool. It's actually pretty cool. I hate the meters. Oh, how do you take the spend? How are you going to take it to him? Oh. You could have done that. What? Um, You're right. Bear with me. What's the matter? I can't oh. see it. Oh, my torch. My lights are on. What is Your torch? My have torch you, lights. Have you got torches thing. strapped to the your, your John Deere? You? Oh, I'm making an absolute hash of this bit now. Oh. Oh, anyway, okay. we're down to our last four minutes. Are we? How has that gone so fast? <laughs> oh. It's flown by. It has. You better well, we finished off. We finished off the harvest, I suppose, on here, didn't we? Uh, sold that. Bit of um, coulter ploughing. And it's, it's all gone a bit pear-shaped, really, other than that. We do need to get some stuff in the ground. But unfortunately, this is a necessary part of... What are you doing? Why I was is coming back to I was coming back to sort out the mistake I made, but... I sorry. fixed it. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's a necessary part of what we've got to do. It needs a cultural plan, the fields need prepping, so, you know, we're doing it. Um, what we're going to put in these fields, I don't know yet, we haven't really decided, but we've got a couple more fields to do. Um, and then I think we'll probably have to take the New Holland into the workshop for a bit of a check over, because I'm pretty sure being tipped on its side didn't help it any. Just saying, you know... Who's going to get there first? Yes! We both did. Me. Oh. We both got there first. How clever. How do oh <laughs> sorry. Oh man. How delightful. Anyway, we have come to the end of this episode. <laughs> too, too much hilarity. I'm pretty sure people watching will be furious because we're not taking it seriously. I do apologise. Um anyway. We're nearly there. Sun does it feel to you like the sun's time to set? Does um, a little bit. Kind of. Yeah, it seems to be getting a little bit dark, yeah. Um, but anyway, yes, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>